Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Ryan Tusher and today we're talking about the Snapmaker 2.0 A350 and we're going to be talking about how to create supports in your G-code for any of like your big structures that you're trying to make that has like a big overhang or like a flat surface and you kind of need to have some support there otherwise it's just going to like spew out a bunch of filament and not work. So let's uh, get to the computer and we will go over how to actually enable the setting. Okay, here we are in Snapmaker Lubin. I'm currently using 3.9.0 if you're using a newer version. Uh, hopefully it's about the same. So I went through and I generated a fast print uh, G code here. And you're gonna see at the very bottom we have this little hex shaft, little like pocket here. And then a couple layers up on layer seven, we have this giant overhang for this gear, right? This is not gonna print very well, and it's gonna fall down, and it's not gonna turn out very, very good. Um, so to fix this, we're gonna need to generate some supports. So come over to your customize menu and click this little plus icon. This will give you a new kind of profile. Um, you can see all the uh, traditional ones, all like the ones that come with the actual printer, the fast print, normal print, quality print. And then we're gonna make our own one, and it's gonna give you the name A350 Fast Print. If you want to rename it, click this little uh, notepad icon. And for instance, we're going to rename it Ryan Fast Print, because why not? And then when you're finished, click the little check mark icon. So to enable supports is super easy. Click on the little drop down arrow there and click generate support. And then you can kind of choose a couple of your settings. For this instance, I'm going to be using zigzag because it's a little bit smaller of a gear. However, if you're using, if you're making a really big, like, you know, really, really big, like maybe like eight inches by... 10 inches maybe use grid it makes it a little bit bigger of like rectangles and everything and of course you can change your like density and your uh, overhang angle and stuff like that so let's go ahead and generate the g-code for this okay and here is our gear and um, let's zoom down here and get rid of a bunch of these layers so now you will see we still have that same little hex pocket but now we have a bunch of these supports right so that way then whenever we actually print this gear it'll have something to rest on so if you have been a little bit curious about how to generate supports, there you go. It's as easy as just clicking two buttons or three buttons, click generate supports, make a new profile and all that good stuff. So let's uh, head back to the studio now. Okay, well, here are our supports for this gear. Um, it had a little bit of a lip and then it had to start doing the actual gear part. And then here is our supports. It's very, very thin but it's just a small little lattice structure that goes around and is very thin and very easy to uh, snap off. Now, if you're like, wow, that thing's really small, uh, here is a bigger support. I did a 3D print for a family member a couple of months ago, and here are my bigger supports. Uh, these were on the inside of it, and as you can see, they're very thin and flimsy, very easy to pull off and everything, very easy to kind of pull apart and break and everything. Um, so yeah, these are your supports that get generated. Uh, you can change a couple of the settings and everything, but that's about it. So yeah, that is how you enable the uh, supports in your Snapmaker Lubin and do it for your, like, your G-code and everything. And then this is kind of an uh, example of what the supports will look like. Um, of course, they're going to vary based on your settings and everything, but it's kind of, uh, you know, it's just there. So if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more Snapmaker videos, consider subscribing. And then... I don't know, leave a comment down below for any other things you, uh, any other questions you have about the Snapmaker or any 3D printing things and everything like that. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day, guys. It's not a game. It's a